Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to another transmission. My name is Q, and this is Claire Audience Truth Speaker. To each and every one of my beautiful, beautiful soul tribe, soul family that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love, is love, is love, is love. I send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. If you happen to be new here and this is your first time tuning in, welcome, beloveds. I will that the messages today resonate. I will that the way that I read, the energy of the cards, that it all resonates with you and that you receive the confirmations and affirmations that you were looking for. I thank you all so much for just tapping in. Um, if I could get you all to pay it forward by hitting the like button, button because that's how things work on this side of the planet in terms of getting the videos into the algorithms. If you feel these videos help you, then please pay it forward and help others by hitting the like button because that is just the politics of YouTube in order for other people to discover the channel, discover the readings, get the messages. Um, that is the way to get it into the algorithm. So I just want to ask um, humbly, that you hit that like button. If you have ever received a message that felt um, helpful to you in your situation, that would be very helpful to me. Uh, and it would also encourage me to push more readings out um, as I see that it is appreciated and valued. So if you um, do appreciate the messages, if you do find that they've been helpful, um, definitely hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so to get the politics out of the way, for anyone that may be new, I go by the name of Q, as I said, I channel messages intuitively, and I am also clairaudience, so I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works, the name of the songs, name of the lyrics, the artists, uh, the title of the song, maybe the timestamp on this clock, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards may be showing as well. So the music, my channel messages, and the cards all correlate and uh, just drive that message home even more. Um, my readings are timeless, so whenever this video has popped up in your feed, that with divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. And my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning take whatever applies for you and leave the rest. If there's nothing else, even if it's just, you know, a certain tidbit of information, affirmation that you receive from my messages, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, period. Okay. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead, proceed with the read, but let's go and do some house cleaning. Uh, Shay. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo, beautiful souls. So we have on the Kliz Ark, it is currently 12.07. Uh, that breaks down to 10. And we have, ooh, ooh, let me turn it down. We have on the playlist is we have Grand Pooba. And this is called I Like It. And um, I want to be where you are is in parentheses. So with that uh, 10, I'm definitely feeling like there's... Um, some sort of ending because tens always denote endings, but every ending we already know um, symbolizes a very brand new beginning. 
Um, I absolutely feel something is turning around and you're going to really like uh, whatever you um, whatever changes that are taking place. So whatever is happening, you're going to like it much more. Um, perhaps there's going to be some reconnection. Uh, there could be distance between you and another person. And that that gap is going to be closed because someone is coming to the realization that they want to be where you are. So if they are further away, um, even if this isn't in a love, a love interest situation, maybe this is a sibling that you want to move close to. Maybe this is um, a family member. Maybe you're relocating or you're thinking about being um, surrounded by family or whatever. Um, I feel like you're going to like that change, that transition. And whomever you're going to be around, it's like it's it's uh, something that you are going to enjoy. Um, but there's really something that's going to transform, I feel, that's going to um it's, it's almost like it's destined. Uh, it's like a turning point. So if there was distance or like I said, if there was some sort of um, separation even, I feel like that gap is going to be closed because someone is realizing they want to be where you are or they want to be um, closer, if that makes any sense. Um as I said, the tens um, definitely denote, you know, endings. I'm seeing like the ten of swords type of energy. I'm seeing the ten of wands where, you know, you could have been in a very overwhelming uh, situation. Things could have gotten really heavy for you, um, but you continued to push. You continued to fight. You could have moved away to start all over, to start afresh anew. Uh, and that distance is something that someone wants to close that gap of the distance because you may have, you know, kind of retreated. You may have created a safe space or a protective bubble, set boundaries. Um, and, you know, the changes that you're making, it's like someone is liking what they see. Someone is feeling inspired to come closer or to get closer. Um, I'm definitely feeling like even you're starting to enjoy, um, you know, this newness, something new that has transpired or something new that has taken place in your life. And it's making you feel um, definitely like, you know, you're, you're feeling like a, a renewed, I'm, I'm getting a sense of renewal. This, this sage and Palo Santo mix is, is choking me out. Let me move it. Okay. Yeah, it was choking me out. I had to, can I breathe? But yeah, so I'm just definitely getting like something new is taking place because the tens always, you know, reduced to one, which is a new beginning. So as I said, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, it could even be the Ten of Cups that's coming in, which means like there's some sort of emotional fulfillment. Maybe there's a Ten of Pentacles situation where you're coming into, uh, you know, something financially that is going to, you know, it's going to assure your security, your stability. Um, with Grand and Grand Puba, <clears throat> With that grand, I definitely feel like this is like I'm hearing a grand opening. So maybe some of you all, you know, are jump starting a business, launching a business um, or just like I said, there's just this um, newness, this new beginning, this this you're on the precipice of something new. And it's like a, a brand new start, but it's also a grand. Um, it's something grand. It's something great uh, that you will be um, experiencing. Um that 10, as I said, that's also the Wheel of Fortune. So something could be coming full circle as well. Um, I'm feeling this is a destined circumstance, a destined situation uh, where you had to kind of wait it out. So, you know, with the endings, you could have been closing out some cycles, closing out some chapters, which we already know. And now, you know, there is this newness that's going to take place. Um, what we have right now playing is Heavy D and the Boys, Nothing But Love. So someone is realizing or having some sort of epiphany that they have nothing but love. Someone's name um, could begin with D. I'm hearing David, Dominic, um, Damien. Um, I'm hearing Donnie, Donald. Um, I'm just hearing D also, Denise, um, Deborah. Um, yeah, so someone could be realizing they have nothing but love. On the bottom of the deck, we have 96 forgiveness. Um, and that breaks down to 15 and 15 breaks down to six. So the six is giving me like a past person because I'm seeing like the six of cups. Uh, so someone is realizing from your past, maybe that they have nothing but love or that, you know, like they like they they like the changes you've made in this separation or in this time apart. And they want to be closer. They want to be wherever you are. Someone could be from New York because this is um, Central Park is the background. Um Someone could be from Mount Vernon, 
as well. Uh, so I'm definitely getting a sense with this forgiveness. This is 15. Someone could have been very, um, very uh, deceitful, deceptive in the past because that 15 is the devil card in traditional tarot. Um, but that six that it breaks down to is showing me like the six of cups. So I was getting like someone from the past that could be coming uh, back towards you. Maybe they're seeking forgiveness. Maybe they're going to apologize or ask for your forgiveness. Um, I also feel forgiveness is for you. So it's like if you're still harboring like resentment and animosity, I feel like spirit is telling you, um, you know, to show compassion towards whoever this may be. Chris Tucker is in this um is in this video along with the other with other cameos there's another um comedian maybe this person has a sense of humor you know maybe they're going to make the mood lighter maybe this is someone that's like a little goofy or you know but i, I get a sense of like whoever this is maybe they're gonna you know kind of come in um really you know really um you know really light-hearted um so let's see Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. You know what's also um, interesting about this video is Kim Porter, uh, which is um, Diddy's child's mother that passed away, uh, that others suspect he had, you know, he had something to do. You know, they suspect him in her early transition. Um, she um, is in this video as well. Um so I don't know if someone's name could be Kim, um, but I'm definitely seeing like there is, there is someone from the past, you know, there's someone from the past that could be confessing because I'm just hearing confession or apologies, divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let's get a message. Let's see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloveds. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have? For our black Scorpios, my spirit, of peace, power, protection. My spirit, of peace, power, protection. What messages do you have? I'm gonna shuffle, shuffle, shuffle until I feel like I'm ready. And I'm here one more time, and then we can take it from the bottom of the deck overall energy. So I see this number 61 self-love. This was the same card that flew out, um, that came out in the former reading. Um, and this is the number seven. Um, so seven is about your personal growth. Seven is about your journey. You know, seven means that you're in your crown chakra. So you are more susceptible to trusting your intuition and using discernment before making decisions. You're prioritizing you because you've learned self-love is the best love. Um, with I got nothing but love for you, baby, I feel like that could even be, you know, perhaps you needed to forgive yourself from past um what you may see or perceive as mistakes uh, when in fact they were actually just experiences that you had to grow through 1313 so it wasn't a very um, traumatic experience but it was also what transformed you because 13s deal with the death card maybe there was a death of significance the death of a loved one death of a child's mother death of a you know um you know a mother or a father a sibling whomever um and this could have transformed you as well it could have kind of just sparked something in you to continue to grow to continue to move forward i also feel the fact that you have self-love is going to assure you some sort of triumphant outcome because the seven is also also associated with the chariot so I do see that you're moving forward powerfully that there are some victories that are ahead for you and that's a beautiful thing we have Janet Jackson and Heavy D now um, singing all right so I do feel like things are going to turn out um, better than you imagine I feel like it's gonna be all right um, someone's name could be Janet Jackson someone could be from Gary Indiana um, but I'm definitely getting a sense the Sun just shined very brightly when I said that so this could be for you know maybe a specific person but I feel like you've learned um, that was a part of your journey that was a part of your transformation or your startling metamorphosis is that love is an inside job so you needed to really take care of yourself so you could have moved away you know you could have kind of departed um, a situation or created space and that's why I was picking up like some Someone wants to close the gap of that space because they could feel that you this distance from you or they could feel something um you know like your your um 
you know, very protective of your energy, perhaps, but it's because you have self-love, you know, and this time around, you're prioritizing you, you're putting you first. So you don't take too kind to anyone, um, you know, coming around and wasting your time. So this energy right here of self-love, this is the energy you're in. That's always very attractive. As I said, 41 um, self-discipline. So you did a lot of work on the self, as I said, that's why we saw that double 13, because it's just the death, um, the transformation, the rebirth that you've had to go through. And and you've emerged someone who loves thyself, you know, and you can only love yourself when you heal thyself and then you will, will better know thyself. So this is very beautiful energy because it shows that you are very disciplined. When you're dif disciplined, um, it means that you have self-worth and self-value. So you value yourself now. You honor yourself now. You prioritize yourself now. You don't put yourself on the back burner for anyone. And that is beautiful. Um, and as I said, very attractive, very admirable. Admirable. And I feel like that's why you're doing all right, because you're, you know, you're not, um, you know, kind of appeasing the please. You're not suffering in silence. Um, you're, you're just kind of, you know, prioritizing you. So that's beautiful. So who or what you're attracting to you is more disciplined. Um, this 41 breaks down to five and five deals with that energy of the um, Hierophant. And that's an energy of like, you know, Te not tedious, but like very um, studious energy. So you're in um, a space where you're building your capacity or your autonomy in a particular area. So um, you could be back in school, you could be learning, um, you could be sitting at the feet of an elder, you could be going through a rites of passage or some sort of initiation. But this is really teaching you um, discipline. Uh, you could even be becoming more disciplined spiritually, um, just developing and building that relationship uh, with your angels, your guides, your ancestors. Uh, and this self-discipline is um, also what's, you know, what's building your capacity to love thyself as well. Um, but you also have matured a lot. You've evolved a lot. You've grown a lot. And this is a very beautiful energy. I love that. So divine spirit. So who or what is our beloved Scorpio is attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Who or what about it? love Scorpio is attracting to them. Thank you, spirit. And so we have 71 health. And so 71 is also saying that you could have gotten stronger. Um, there could have been, you know, some health concerns. You could have had some, you know, recent, um, you know, some recent episodes with, you know, the flu or maybe some of you caught CV, you know, this came out also. Um, but I do feel like you're getting stronger. I feel like you could also be like, you know, changing your livets. Um, you could be eating healthier. You could be, you know, making it your business to get out and get some fresh air and take walks and, you know, just kind of, you know, move, move around and, and, um, you know, just make sure to like kind of, um, you know, get some get some some exercise in whenever you can, because maybe in the past um, you've just been kind of busy, busy, busy and not really like focusing on your health and wellness. Some of you could be doing yoga. Some of you could be, you know, just like maybe just joined a gym. Um, I'm here in O2 Fitness, Planet Fitness. Uh, some of you may, you know, have the luxury of having a gym in your apartment complexes and you're now, you know, um, starting to utilize it, you know. So I do feel um, for many of you, your health is improving. I feel like, you know, you're, you're definitely sharper. You're getting stronger physically, um, which is beautiful. Um, this number eight uh, that I'm getting from that, is why I'm associating it with you getting strong because eight is the um, strength card in traditional tarot. I feel things are moving forward also. I just see that you're you're healthier or your your health is improving um, or you're getting stronger or you're getting some sort of positive results, um, you know, uh, where you could have been a little concerned. So this seven and this eight breaks down to 15. Uh, so there could have been some afflictions or some addictions. Perhaps some of you all had to kind of prioritize yourself. Maybe you were, you know, kind of doing things that weren't um, very beneficial, very helpful um, or healthy, I should say. And that could have also impacted your health. Uh, so whether this be like maybe there was, um, you know, some of you could have had some sort of addictions, as I said, maybe drinking addictions because I heard drinking. But then I'm also hearing like some some of you could have like um, an herb addiction 
and you may have had to kind of like slow down on the herb addiction. Um, whatever the case may be, I see you getting stronger. I see there's some sort of um, victory because that that six uh, that 15 does break down to six. So there is a victory. There is a breakthrough. You're moving away from something that could have been um, negatively impacting you or negatively Im um, impacting your health, and you're moving away from that. So you're getting out of um, out of a, a place of because um, I'm hearing a, a stuckness. So it's like you're you're kind of getting. Um, unstuck. So if you felt stuck, I feel like you're getting unstuck. And I feel like that's why Janet is singing all right, because things are going to be all right. We have 88 um, abundance on the bottom of the deck. This is how who or what you're attracting to you feels about you. And this is saying that you are very abundant. The this pink card, all pink that deals with the heart chakra. So I do feel like, you know, you're attracting what you want. Things are happening very quickly in your life because of this self love, you know, this love that you have um, learned to show yourself has strengthened you and your ability to manifest. We got 888 here. So maybe during that um, 888 portal in August, you've manifested some sort of change. And now you're going to reap the rewards because of the seeds that you've sown. Um, they are definitely um, blossoming. So you have some sort of blossoming abundance. You have some sort of uh, some sort of uh, prosperity or something fruitful, something's flourishing is what I'm hearing. But this is going to bring a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. Um, this eight is a karmic number. It's associated with karma. So I do feel like this has a lot to do with, you know, your good deeds paying off. So whatever you've done, you know, you reap what you sow, whether good or bad. So I feel like, you know, the seeds that you sowed and planted are now blossoming. And that's what's bringing you abundance. And this pink card is not only speaking to the emotional fulfillment, it, but it's also referring to the financial fulfillment that you also could be coming into. So you are absolutely coming into, um, you know, some sort of abundance, some sort of financial, um, some sort of financial blessing. Uh, and as Janet Jackson said, um, you're going to be all right. So that's how this person or whatever you're attracting to you feels about you. So it's like spirit is rewarding you. And this is coming in very quickly. That eight and eight breaks down to 16. 16 does deal with the tower. So something has to be destroyed in order for it to be rebuilt. And this 88 is still on the bottom of the deck as I'm breaking down 16. You have 33. So there will be communication. And remember, I was picking up like, you know, someone from the past may be um, reaching out. This is someone that has realized, you know, that they want to be where you are. Um, so this is someone that will confess or communicate, you know, maybe even extend an apology if there was something that could have occurred in the past. And I just saw 2244, which is 444. So I do feel like perhaps your angels are aligning you with someone because this six is also associated with the lovers and the lovers um, is, you know, overseen by an angelic figure. So I do feel like someone has had some sort of epiphanous moment, um, you know, and they're using discernment. I feel like spirit is also reminding you to use discernment, use your intuition. Um, this week we have a full moon and it's also going to be um, a solar eclipse. And in the former reading, we had the sun and the moon um, show up for, you know, the overall energy. So perhaps during that um, full moon, during this full moon, something will manifest and materialize. The six is saying that um, I do feel like you've created some sort of um, boundary, um, that there isn't any communication, and that's why someone is coming towards you to communicate or someone is making a decision, I should say, to communicate. Uh, and I feel like you may learn some things um, that you may not have been privy to in terms of how someone may feel. Um, we have Big Daddy Kane, Smooth Operator, playing um and with Big Daddy Kane, this could be the mother or father of your child. This could even be a father figure or some male figure that you may not have heard from. Um, but I'm also getting, you know, a masculine could be reaching out and communicating with a feminine energy or feminine energy could be reaching out to a masculine with smooth operator. I just get a sense like this person just has a smooth disposition. Um, you know, they may come off. Um, they could come off like a player. So just that's why I feel like spirit was saying, use your intuition or use discernment, because this could be someone who's just real smooth, like a slick talker, got the gift of gab. And if you hear that, 
there's a siren going off and whenever I hear sirens, I always feel like that's, you know, spirit giving you a forewarning. Um, that's like a, you know, a warning shot. So whenever I hear sirens, that's just like telling you to be mindful. And that's why I was picking up use discernment or use your intuition. Uh, so we have seven, eight. So we got six, seven, eight here. Um, these cards break down to so seven and eight, 15, that's six, six and six, that's 12. So yeah, so someone could literally be sitting back and observing you because 12, um, these cards break down to 12 and 12 is the hangman. So this is someone who could be getting some sort of different perspective or they're looking at you from a different vantage point or the spirit is also encouraging you to take your time before you take action to really just, um, you know, just kind of... Um, you know, meditate to get it straight, sort of, you know, like just make sure that you're not just rushing into action, but you're taking the time, um, you know, to, to, you know, contemplate on your next best move. So choose wisely. In other words, um, that 12 does break down to three. So this person does see you as an empress, um, cause all these cards reduce to 12 on this card. So that 12 breaks down to three. So they do see you as a goddess. If you're not a feminine energy, they see you as a God. They see you as a divine feminine, divine masculine line that you are in your power that you are very powerful and that you absolutely know your worth and value um so they know that they cannot come in play play with your energy or play with uh or waste your time or try to insult you in any way shape form or fashion so i do get a sense of like this person realizing uh your worth your value now um, and it's because you're in your power. You are in your power as a divine feminine. You could be birthing new ideas and new ways of thinking. I also feel like you are, um, you will be very fertile when you come into union with this person. And you could have an unplanned baby if things take off and if you decide to be with this person. So if you are not looking to get pregnant, then make sure to take precautions because I do see a baby. I do see some of you um, getting pregnant with child. Uh, and it's beautiful, though. It's a beautiful union. I see that you two are both in, you know, the same energy. Whenever I see double numbers, I feel like that's you and the person you're attracting um, in the same energy, in the same vibration. And that three is a very auspicious number. It also deals with the ascended masters. So I feel like your angels, as I said earlier, with the number six, the lover with that angel overseeing, I feel like they're aligning you. With this person and the communication is going to provide clarity perhaps this is someone as i said from your past that could be returning apologizing extending an olive branch and they may confess some things that you may have already known could have suspected but wasn't sure of because this person never just you know blurted it out or it, it confessed these feelings if you will so that's what i'm picking up 88 on the bottom of the deck for um when we pull the energy for uh what's hidden so what you don't realize is you are going to be reaping the rewards like i get like wish fulfillment because eight to me is also associated um with the star card because that 17 breaks down to eight so i do feel like things are coming in quickly rapidly uh and uh unexpectedly and this is going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment and as i said even financial fulfillment uh you're not going to have to worry for anything like you're not, not going to have to want for anything you're going to be really really ecstatic uh when it comes to you know your emotional and financial um you know situation so divine spirit what is um hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpio Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got 77 now. So whoever you're attracting to you is highly spiritual. This is a spiritual connection, a spiritual bond. I feel like this could even be like a soulmate. I was picking up the Six of Cups with, and the Lovers, which could also indicate like a past life love um, or some sort of twin flame soulmate connection. I did see... Um, 11 11 when i was reading uh but i didn't want to um stop my build and lose my train of thought so this could also you know insinuate that there could be like a very spiritual you know and divine union that you could be coming into because this is the card for the outcome i feel many of you are very sensitive as well to energy so you also could be picking up on this you also could be very spirit um intuitive and psychic as well we have miles davis so what playing uh, some of you, you know, could be very like 
pessimistic about love like i don't care about love so what i ain't thinking about love but spirit is saying like you know be mindful of your words because some of you can be saying that because it sounds good but you really deeply desire that nobody wants to be alone i don't care who it is nobody wants to just die alone and be alone um that's not why we're here 29 29 11 11 on the clock we got the number one so there goes that new beginning that's what's hidden as i said every ending denotes a new beginning we started the reading at 1207 so that makes sense uh that there is a new beginning because you're coming out a very of a very tough period a very tough cycle and now this new chapter is going to usher in a lot of new energy i feel like you know someone is very very attracted to you maybe someone has already expressed or confessed these feelings um of love or someone has already shown interest and you're just not interested um the feelings aren't mutual perhaps maybe you're just like so what you know but i think you're just kind of opening yourself up to a more spiritually divine connection like you're not looking for anything superficial um you're not moved by someone's you know telling you how fine you are or how attractive you are you're not looking for those um um, those type of connections where it's like it, it's superficial you want something that is more um, spiritual something that is more uh, heartfelt you know so you're not really like you don't get gassed by someone telling you how fine you are or how attractive you are that doesn't move you um, you want someone that's going to uh, be able to be emotionally intelligent or you know kind of stimulate you um mentally uh have some depth have some you know just have something to offer you know so the the superficialities is far beyond your interest at this point so that's why i feel like your sentiment may be like so what like someone could be just showering you with all these compliments and you're just like so what like that's so I, I'm not interested in how attractive you think I might be. Um, you know, what else you got? Like you're, you're waiting for someone to kind of kind of show you that there's they have depth, if you will. So let's see what we have. So the 77 that breaks down to 14. I feel you've been very patiently um, kind of waiting for that. Wow. It came right back out. It jumped out, in fact. So that's powerful. So, yeah. So what you have is your outcome is you're not uh, wasting time on anyone. You got 87 here on the bottom of the deck. Synchronicities. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Some of you could be seeing 888, 777. I've actually seen um, both of those. I saw like 777 three times on um, Friday. I saw 888 once on um, Friday and then I saw it again um, in the early part of the week so you may be seeing those number synchronicities you may also be seeing 11 11 you may also be seeing 333 you may also be seeing you know 111 so just be mindful of that maybe you're seeing 10 10 10 um, but whatever the case may be you know just pay attention to that because I do feel like that spirit giving you like divine downloads or giving you those little nudges, um, giving you messages. Maybe you're bumping into the same animal totems or you may be having some very lucid or vivid dreams at this time. Maybe you're seeing synchronicities, animal totems. Maybe you are just having certain sensations um, that are, you know, kind of like trying to, you know, kind of get your attention. And you need to pay attention to that, you know, because don't just brush it off. Um, there's always a reason for everything and I always you know encourage people to look up the meanings if you are not sure as to what is being communicated to you so you could like literally look up what does 1111 mean what does 888 mean what does this you know what does this animal mean that I keep bumping into um and that's reminding me some of you could be seeing hummingbirds I put up a hummingbird um feeder on my patio and immediately uh hummingbirds started to come so that that is rare like I just saw one randomly um when my daughter's father came down to visit for my daughter's solar return in July. And that was just random. We was all cooking out. He was, he was making some food on the grill. And we were sitting out there. And then it, it just flew by. And was like, oh, my God. Like, that's so dope. Like, you know, it's been years. It's such a rare occurrence to see a hummingbird. So whenever I see it, I feel like it's very magical. And it connects me to my grandfather. Um, you know, there was a hummingbird that would come and visit him every day before he passed. You know, like it would just, he would sit in the window looking for the for the hummingbird and it would come and visit him every day. So it was a very it was very beautiful. So some of you may have a similar story where a loved one, um, you know, could be communicating through that that animal totem or there could be something very special, um, 
that connects you to that that animal totem. So look it up if you're not sure of you know what the the meaning of um, these current these encounters may be. So divine spirit, we're gonna pull some messages from. Let me see. I want to get some messages from Goddess Guidance first. Let's see what we got with Goddess Guidance, right? See what the goddesses and the gods have. So divine spirit, let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have um, Guardian. So just as I'm speaking about, and I'm hearing activity out there. I don't know if that's the, oh, that's the wind. Okay, so um, just as we're speaking about your angels or your, your ancestors, um, you know, guiding you, uh, here we have Guardian. And what it says is, um, it says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And this is a very beautiful confirmation that, um, you know, they've been with you on this journey um, to self-love. You know, the self-love, self-worth, self-value was something you were able to achieve because you were being spiritually guided and protected by your guides. Um, so if there were anyone um, or anything that was in opposition of you, I feel like they were, you know, protecting you, put, you know, placing like that fiery um wall of protection around you to prevent anyone from you know taking you know taking over and i just saw 35 35 which is 8 8 and remember we saw abundance so that's why you're reaping what your um these rewards because i feel like you've so you've planted seeds in good faith you know you could have been you know uh kind of closing out those karmic cycles or paying off even karmic debts uh and i feel like you know whatever you were going through karmically um your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors, your spirit team, period, where they're protecting you from, you know, the secret haters, you know, enemies, because uh, there was definitely a lot that you had to navigate through. Um, we got Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. So this also, like I said, remember I was saying that there was an angel overseeing a particular union. And here goes the angel and there goes the unconditional love. So Mary Magdalene is showing you unconditional love. You are loved beyond your own imagination, regardless of how your circumstance may seem, regardless of how difficult things may appear at this moment. Spirit wants you to know you're loved. They want you to also devote more time um, at your sacred space, whether that is going out in nature and connecting with Mother Guy, your daughter Earth, um, you know, or if that is, you know, creating an altar in your safe space to build that connection with your angels and your spirit team. Uh, but there is a, 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 a um, there is a um, necessity to start developing that relationship um, because they're saying that you need to create a sacred space. Uh, your space needs to be cleansed, clean, clear, cleanse as well. So perhaps there's decluttering that needs to take place. There is smudging that needs to take place. Um, and there's also a purge because it has bodies of water. So this will allow for you to release whatever is no longer serving you. This also allows for you to recharge your batteries, to recuperate. Um, but water is your element, so it's very healing as well. Many of you could have uh, spent a lot of time at bodies of water, whether it was the ocean ocean, a river, a beach, you know, um, you know, I said river, the ocean rather, which is the beach, but it could have been a river. It could have been a little, you know, little body of water in your neighborhood that you like to go and sit by uh, and watch the ducks or the swans or the geese. And you may have fed them, whatever the case may be. It's like, this is like your happy place. or this is a place where you can center yourself. Um, if you haven't done that, this is what spirit is saying. You are, um, it's time for you to start making that type of connection. Connection and this will restore um, that self-love, you know, strengthen that self-love, that love of self. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages, messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Many of you could be like, you know, that could be like your, your preferred sensory support, like going to the pool. You know, you could go to like a year-round pool. Like if you have like an aquatic center in your community, you could literally be in that pool every day, you know, just really, um, just really like splashing around. Like it just brings happiness. So what we have here is past life. Remember, I mentioned past life connection, a twin flame connection, a spiritual union of some sort. And this is the self-love. So like I said, self-love is more attractive. So whatever you... Um, 
or healing from whatever generational curses, hexes, yokes, spells, or even just, you know, repairing or recovering from some sort of toxic situation or karmic situation. Um, this has a lot to do with your past life. So you were healing past life traumas. And it's because you are, some of you are um, ordained, as I said, or you've been initiated to help heal the collective. So you could be healers, shamans, light workers, Reiki healers. You could be channelers. You could be psychics. Um, you know, this is the energy that you're in. You are a channel for divine knowledge and divine power. But this past life is saying that everything that you've endured thus far, all the healing that you've been going through um, is because you have been healing some uh, past life uh, traumas and this is why you are now in a space where you are recovering um, in terms of, you know, just loving yourself more. When we opened up the reading, the word forgiveness was there. So I feel like many of you were faulting yourselves for a lot of things that you um, may have experienced. And I feel when you started to just kind of trust your intuition and use discernment with certain things, you could see she's wearing this headdress. And this is how she receives uh, you know, divine download. So you started to really started to meditate to get things straighter. You started to really connect and consult with your higher self. And you started to receive those channel messages, which helped you to close out chapters or to distance yourself from people, places and things that were not serving your highest good. And that's why now you're having some sort of victory because you started to listen. And we have this medicine man, medicine woman, this is who or what you're attracting. So many of you healed yourselves. Many of you are healers because because you have health and then you have medicine woman. So many of you, um, if this is not you, um, this could be someone that you could have gone to for a consultation, a spiritual consultation. And they could have like could have done some sort of Reiki work, Reiki healing, energy healing on you um, to remove certain sicknesses or dis-ease. Uh, but I feel many of you realize that you had divine power to heal thyself. And when you heal thyself, then you begin to love thyself. And as I said, you then know thyself. So many of you realize that you're healers uh, just from you having to heal um, yourselves from certain uh, pains and traumas and um certain toxic circumstances and we have um maze and this is called i want to thank you so many of you felt like you were kind of like lost um for quite some time but your ancestors and your angels were always leading the way and leading the path when you felt alone you weren't alone they were carrying you and you know you you're, you're more thankful now i feel you're more um you're more forgiving even i feel because of this ability to tap into your divinity or whatever this was, because I was feeling even with that number five we saw earlier, uh, the 40, what was it, the 41, and that was, um, I can't even remember what that was, um, whatever it was, it broke down to five and I was breaking down the Hierophant and how some of you were being initiated. Some of you had to mature. Some of you were growing, going through like um, a rites of passage. And so that's what this is, you know, and you can see clearly in the background, like there's lightner, lightning and, you know, like the thunder striking and, and that is communication. So you got a lot of divine downloads, perhaps from your angels and guides. It could have really been, um, you know, you could have been co-creating with Source as well. So with that maze, it was a journey. Even if you look at the picture, you could see like this person is kind of, you know, kind of which way to go. You know, so you could have, you had to choose the right course of action. And in order for you to do so, you had to tap into your higher self. You had to consult with your higher self. So that's very powerful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me see. I'm sorry, some of these songs um, we've definitely heard. I'm sorry, y'all. YouTube is acting up. Give me one moment. Let me just pause this so you don't have to sit here. All right. My bad. All right. Oop. This card wants to jump out of my hand. Look at that. Abundance. 
I was like, I'm about to shuffle and the card jumped out of my hand. I'm going to keep it because that abundance showed up earlier. So we're going to put that there. And remember, I was picking up like, you know, based off of, you know, whatever seed you sowed in the past. Um, you know, that's why you were getting something, you know, that was reaping. You were reaping some sort of reward. So you can see clearly like this angel is pouring out all of these blessings. And so that's why, because you were clearing up some past life, you know, trauma. So you were healing from something from your past life. You were definitely closing out some karmic cycles, and that's why you're going to be rewarded. So Abundantina is bringing prosperity. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receive. So you have to be open-minded. You have to be receptive in order to receive the blessings um, that the universe, that the angels, the guides are um, you know, blessing you with. And the song that we have playing right now is... Um, who is this? This is Tyler, the creator, and it's F I F um, H Y. Um, I Uckin hate you. Um, so you know this is someone who or what you're attracting to you with health. Maybe this is this was something that there uh, that could have been their sentiment in the past. Um, with eight, this is like I get conflict, mental conflict, because I'm seeing the eight of swords, and I'm also seeing like you know this could be someone rushing in. Uh, and maybe there's like this this uh, love hate type of relationship because that's kind of how this song, um, you know, that's kind of like what this song is. It's like it's a it's a love hate relationship he has with someone um, with Wolf. He has Wolf, you know, so I, I immediately heard Wolf in sheep's clothing. And that's why spirit could have been like, trust your intuition, use your use your intuition. Um, maybe this was someone from the past that was like a wolf in sheep's clothing that you could have felt um, kind of took advantage of you or could have it wasn't really appreciative of you. And that's why you had to learn to love yourself because maybe this person, what you were looking for this person to validate you in some way, maybe you overcompensated in this connection or in this relationship in some way. And so, you know, it was like a love hate relationship, but they taught you a lot with sensitivity. It says you are becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So I was picking up someone with addictions and afflictions because the eight and the seven here we reduced to 15 so the 61 is seven the 71 is eight and i was picking up the devil and so when you have um this sensitivity it's because you you are picking up intuitively um that someone is not who they proclaim to be profess to be or even who they try to appear to be because you're picking up on energy so with that wolf in sheep's clothing i was getting i feel like you you definitely are sensing uh that someone has may have some ulterior motives with this eight of swords don't get too caught up in your head perhaps this is the person you're attracting to you because this is who or what you're attracting to you. they could be up in their head and with sensitivity they know that you are sensitive um energetically so you could feel energy speak energy Energy. You're very intuitive. You're very psychic. Hence the six that the 15 breaks down to. Um, and so they could be, you know, also kind of like a little hesitant to come towards you because they know of your sensitivities. But let's see what the cards have to say. Why is the 71 health here for my beloved Scorpios for who or what they're attracting to them? There goes the butterfly transformation card for when we pull the energy, energy for how they feel about you. So we got nematode in a sacred space. And it says, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So someone could definitely be trying to take the time uh, to build that bond, that connection with their spirit team or their angels or their guides. They could be, you know, lighting candles more. They could be praying more. Um, even if this is your energy, perhaps you've set up an altar to a particular deity or ancestor or um you know, angel that you really resonate with. And this is building, um, you know, strengthening you and your connection. Uh, I also feel like, you know, with this sacred space, uh, it's just saying that, you know, there are angels and guides that are kind of like, you know, aligning you with someone. And with all these candles lit, it could really symbolize, you know, how many um, times this person um, whether this is you or someone you're attracting, how many times they've like set intention, like they're very intentional. This is also someone who's very spiritual as well, because I see like this cloak. And whenever I see someone with cloaks, I feel like they are um, very much like practitioners, um, you know, energy practitioners, spiritual practitioners of some sort. 
And this is definitely uh, someone strengthening their bond and connection to the spirit realm. You know, perhaps saying certain prayers. Um, we got MC Breed and OFC. This is Ain't No Future in Frontin'. So how someone feels about you um, is like, you know, with the transformation, you know, they, they feel like they've definitely fronted on you because you've completely transformed. It says you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. And so, you know, butterflies may be another uh, synchronicity that some of you may be having. Uh, some of you could be really just like bumping into these butterflies. And that is another way that spirit communicates, like I said, through these angelic messages, numbers, uh, animal totems. Those are ways your angels will communicate with you. And with there ain't no future in front, front end, I feel like, you know, someone could have definitely fronted on you. And you've transformed from that experience. You've changed tremendously. You're not even recognizable. Uh, and so, you know, this person definitely could have got cut out of your life. You moved away and created a safe space, created a protective bubble, and you have set boundaries. And they realize there's no future um, in front. And so they could have front and on you, fronted on you and you've established boundaries. And now they realize, like, they can't have a future with you if you cut them out of their life. So with this transformation, you've changed tremendously. And that's why I was picking up a little intimidation now because they could definitely be seeing, like, you're a rare breed. You're a different. Um, this person's name is MC. Uh, MC is uh, an acronym for Master of Ceremony. So they can see that you are masterful, that you have gone through enormous change, that you've taken your power back, that you've, like, rebuilt from the ground up. So whatever you know, ending occurred. It's like you've rebuilt even more solid. You're, you're even stronger. You're even wiser um, than they remember. So this is powerful. So why is this 33 communication here for my beloved Scorpios for how this person feels in this card? There we go. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have undying love. So this undying love is when we pull the uh, new beginning. And so we have guiding children. And so what it says is, you are good at helping counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So many of you could be mothers, you could be fathers, um, and you definitely are your children's first teacher. So if you've gone through some sort of arduous relationship, toxic relationship with the mother or father to your children's, um, you know, to your children's father, um, you're actually helping to heal uh, any trauma that they may have experienced by just showing them you come out of that experience a different person by you showing them that you don't carry resentment animosity towards that other parent regardless of what they've done or haven't done you do not hold and harbor that type of resentment and that is helping to heal generational curses because maybe your mother or father didn't do that for you so you're actually breaking the curse and you're starting afresh anew and this is helping to heal your children. And I feel the healing also was you healing your inner child. Because remember, past life came out. So some of you could be healing a past life, you know, healing your inner child that could have been traumatized in a former life, which is why you had to grow through your own trauma and break that 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 curse or break that um, that um, yoke, if you will. That's a better word. Uh, but you are, some of you could be counselors. Some of you could be teachers. Some of you could work with children. Some of you could be social workers. Some of you could be clinical coordinators. Some of you may work in a pediatrics office, but I do feel like you are um, definitely helping children. I'm hearing some of you may also have autistic children. And so, you know, that's a very... Um, that's like a 24 hour job, you know, because a lot of them, they have a lot of emotional dysregulation uh, that you have to help them. Um, you have to help them co-regulate. So some of you could be, you know, that type of um, parent that is just, you know, always on, you know, it's, it's, it's like burnout almost. And so I do feel like it says um, with you are good at uh, helping counseling and he 
in healing children you some of you this could just be you know what your passion is is to help children is to work with children um people don't realize like it sounds corny but children are the future and it's like if you look at this generation nobody speaks of children you know when i was growing up we had songs like you know i believe the children are a future teach them well and let them lead the way like we had songs like that like we had so many songs just shining light on the importance of raising healthy children. And now it's just like they do everything to um, almost like to to to, um, to to sabotage these children's futures and confuse them. I feel like we're failing, you know, this generation like the children coming now. Like I feel like we're failing them by just, you know, entertaining some of the conversations about like, gender and things like that it's like first of all children shouldn't even be having conversations about sexuality until they are of age and so i just feel like we're failing them the education system you know the school said everything is we're failing children and so some of you could really have a passion to help heal children you know help them heal from their trauma maybe you work with children like i said that have been traumatized whether you are you know someone who um works for like um What's that? Um, like a social worker, like I said, you know, maybe you work in foster care, uh, trying to find, you know, good placement for children. Uh, but children are, you know, something that many of you, uh, you really have a passion for, even if it's your own children. You prioritize your children, you put them first, they are your life force. So it's like you don't play when it comes to that. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have Undying Love, uh, and we have the song Liberation playing by Outcast. So you are feeling very liberated with this brand new beginning. This this is like a fresh start for many of you. And I do feel like, you know, whatever it's like whatever passions or whatever dreams that you felt you may not have uh, gone after formally or previously, whether due to a relationship or whether due to your own uh lack of of confidence it's like now with this newfound liberation you're going to go after everything um that you desire it says the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation so you also have someone that's coming in i get a masculine energy that's hidden um that is you know looking to pursue a brand new beginning this is someone that is very very hot on you um, even if this is a feminine that has a masculine that she has her eye on, I feel when this connection, you know, evolves, like you're going to feel, uh, very liberated. You're going to feel like this is, this feels like home. It's just going to feel like home because of the synergy, the chemistry, and this, this spiritual connection union that you bond, that you share with this person is just, that's why it's undying. So this could even, you know, indicate that this could be like a past life love or a twin flame uh, connection as well. And when you connect with your divine counterpart, um, I definitely feel like the two of you will feel liberated or you will work together collectively to help heal the collective. So you will help liberate others, free others. Some of you um, could be dealing with an Aqu Aquarius or a Gemini. Gemini. Um, someone could have like Aquarius and Gemini placements in their chart. Someone could be from Atlanta, Georgia. Someone's name could be Andre. Um, but I'm definitely getting a sense of just freedom. Uh, this this one is like you taking taken off, you know, like you, you're taking off and you're moving forward powerfully. You're very excited. You're happy. Uh, and this is just, you know, that undying love is beautiful um, to share with someone if this is another person. Why is this one new beginning here for who or um, what's hidden? Pardon me in the energy for my beloved Scorpio. So we got a card that flipped over and we have cycles and rhythms. So spirit is saying, once you close out this chapter, that this new beginning, as we know, is going to happen. And I feel like it's also encouraging or insinuating that during this full moon, that there could be something that's coming in. But it says, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. 
uh, wow, and I picked this card up mistakenly, so I feel like this is a bonus message. So cycles, so definitely closing out cycles, but new cycles are, are developing as well. And I feel this is something you've manifested, because if you look, she has like this wand, you know, and a wand is an instrument to manifest, and she does look like she's setting that intention. And so the cycles of the moon could be very significant, as I said, um, maybe during the new moon because this is the number one so i always get like a fresh start a new beginning so maybe during the new moon but this also could insinuate the full moon that's coming up on tuesday which also happens to be a um you know an eclipse as well and remember in the former reading you could go back and look at it uh you know in the the overall energy the moon and the sun came out so that is rough and i even mentioned um eclipse and the eclipse is when you clip things out of your life um and when you cut things off because you've had some sort of illumination or something was brought to your attention and so that's why this new beginning is here as well so a new cycle is starting you're honoring the cycles and rhythms which means that you're honoring how things feel in your spirit how things you know sit in your spirit and so you're going to be off that um i don't know what i did with that card Spirit is telling me to just take this top one because I could have placed it on top. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So transformation. So that makes sense. So you're having a new beginning after this transformation because you've experienced enormous change. And if you're seeing butterflies constantly, that's a sign that things are changing. So Spirit is saying, honor the cycles and rhythms of your body. Pay attention to how your body feels. Pay attention to how you feel around other people. Because remember, we had Tyler saying um, he had the wolf hat on. Uh, so remember wolves in sheep's clothing. So just pay attention because that's what's hidden. So you got transformations and changes that are recurring, my beautiful Scorpios. Why is 77 spirituality here for the outcome? And then we have unconditional love on the bottom of the deck. So we saw that earlier and it says love yourself, others. And um, every situation, no matter what the uh, outward appearance may be. So with the 77 spirituality, maybe there's someone that you may not realize you have a very divine connection with because you're just looking at the surface and maybe there's something deeper um, between the two of you. But this guardian card came out. So I do feel like I said earlier that this is um, a divinely ordained union that your angels and guides are aligning you with someone that is especially meant for you with the 7-7. Seven, seven, that's 14. Divine timing is definitely of essence. And so you can see that this angel is shooting their shot. So I do feel like also, you know, someone is going to come in and shoot their shot. But this is saying that you and your loved one are safe and spiritually protected. So if someone is also trying to attack you by any means, shape, form, or fashion, your angels are protecting you. Your angels are providing that fiery armor of protection for you, and they are not allowing anyone to attack you. And it's probably because you're liberating yourself, freeing yourself from a situation that someone may want to attack you, um, or someone is trying or attempting to um, attack you or, you know, give you some sort of evil eye, whatever the case may be, you are divinely protected, which is a beautiful, um, you know, confirmation from spirit. So we're going to conf confirm these messages with the energy oracle deck now. And then after that, we're going to pull some actual tarot cards and then we're going to wrap it up. So on the bottom of the deck, we got blossoming abundance. This is the third time the abundance card came in. So remember, we got Abundantia, and then we saw 88 Abundance cards show up in the numerology deck. So this is double confirmation, um, or triple, I should say, confirmation, that many of you have something blossoming. And as I said, with that uh, Abundance card in the numerology deck, it was 8-8. Eight, eight, and I was saying that the seeds that you've sowed, they are now you know, harvesting, they are now growing, they are blossoming. And so that it, you're reaping the rewards of all of your efforts. And you could see clearly, you know, that things are looking up for you. It's flourishing. It's beautiful energy. And we have little Kim, queen bitch. <laughs> so some of you all are definitely in your queen energy, king energy. And we have this right here. So see that? So this is why you're blossoming because you're detaching from anything that was, you know, 
forcing you to not be your authentic self where you had to put on a, a fake mask or where you had to, you know, smile and beguile or, you know, appease to please or overcompensate. Whomever you were, you know, attached to, whoever this energy is, it's like they brought a lot of sadness, a lot of doom and gloom um, into your life. But I feel because you've had to heal from that and you had to show yourself the self-love um, and that's because you started to work from you know the inside you started to heal um, at a soul level that's why you were able to cut yourself free from whatever this yoke hex spell and it could have been like I said uh, due to past life traumas so many of you may have come into this reality already having some some healing work that was required so a lot of your relationships were reflections of you know past life relationships um, and that's why now you're receiving the rewards and all of this abundance from spirit because you've completely broken the cycle and you've learned to love yourself. If you're loving yourself, then you're no longer attached to anything that does not honor you or does not treat you um, uh, as you deserve to be treated. So you're being rewarded by your angels and your guides. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why? What is the overall energy? Why is the 61 health? I mean, the 61 self-love. Um, there's the uh, Isis past life card, abundance here, prosperity here for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is the 61 self-love, Isis past life, and abundance here, prosperity here for the overall energy. And there goes that devil energy I was picking up on. And it could be a little jealous because you have this door to personal healing and happiness there. And I just saw one, four, four, four. So many of you are chosen. So you're going to always have some sort of, you know, haters watching, haters comparing, haters in competition. Chosen ones are always uh, being challenged, you know, uh, because your light irritates demons, spirits. So they're always going to challenge you. They're always going to um you know, try to attack. And there goes the devil as I'm talking about that. But look, your guardian is there shooting at this this um, demonic energy. So whatever demons, whatever, you know, dark energy that's kind of looming and lurking around the corners, you know, being deceitful, being dishonest. That's why spirit was telling you trust your intuition. That's why spirit was telling you to use discernment. That's why spirit taught you to prioritize you, your feelings, your needs, and not that of anyone else. That's why this person is here because there's some jealousy here. They could also be jealous because you have prosperity and blessings coming in. And um, we have um, It's All Us playing by Nayana. And this is from that series, Reasonable Doubt. So it's all us. So I do feel like with It's All Us, um, I just referred to the chosen ones with that one 444 that I saw on um, the clock. So it's all us, meaning, you know, that there are a lot of spiritual attacks. And there goes the victory. So spirit is assuring you that you're going to have some sort of victory. Spirit is assuring you that things are going to be worked out in your favor. And it's all because of the work that you've done. You could not have received any of the blessings, the blossoming abundance, the prosperity had you not done the work. So it's all your perseverance, all of your resilience, which has... Uh, led to this reward, led to these blessings. And all eyes are on us at this time, to be honest with you, the chosen ones, that is. It's all on you, you know, because you are here to help heal the collective, as I said, because you are spiritual beings, first and foremost, having a human experience. And many of you are waking up to your power, waking up to why you're here, what you're here to do, your purpose in life. And that's why you're being protected because you have a purpose, you have a duty, so to speak. And we have superheroes playing as I'm speaking of you having a superpower and a duty. That's I, I can't make this up. And this is Esther Rowe. Some of you, your names could be Esther. But this is definitely, um, and dome, I always say dome is like your, your, your wise dome. So you've become wiser, meaning mentally, you're intuitive. I say wise dome, that's the way that I speak about wisdom. See, people say wisdom. I say wise dome because wisdom, like how can you be wise and dumb at the same time? <laughs> you know, so I say wise dome because your crown is like, like I said, you, you, you're, 
you you are in the seventh chakra which is your crown so you are receiving downloads you are highly intuitive and that's the reason why you're reaping these rewards because you were very obedient so divine spirit let's get a message divine spirit finally let's clarify this message let's cut the deck superhero so you may have some superpowers beloved and that's how other people see you even if you have not discovered that on your own you don't give yourself enough credit perhaps because a lot of the healing a lot of the transformation and startling metamorphosis this flipped over so this is your message this card literally flipped over as i was cutting the deck so this is what you're receiving and that's just another confirmation this is quadruple because uh, that ten, um, that Queen of Pentacles is, you know, stability. So you are financially stable, as I said. Um, you're emotionally stable. Others feel that you're very grounded. You self-sufficient, self-reliant. This has a lot to do with self-love um, as well and self-discipline that we saw earlier. Um, so you really could have just kind of honed in and focused in on mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. As I said, a lot of you are maturing. Could Some of y'all could have went back to school. Some of y'all could have sat at the feet of elders and learned and built your capacity in a particular area. And it's just assured you some sort of financial stability. It's assured that you are secure. Um, some of you may have a black cat. I have a black cat, Katara. Um, some of you are just very magical, but you're definitely grounded. I feel you're also very well-rounded. Like you, you like the night, the finer things in life. Like you don't do anything half-ass. If you're going to do something, you go all in. I feel many of you may have started a business, launched a business. You may have had a grand opening for a business because we had Grand Pooba earlier. But I do feel like you're you're reaping what you know the rewards of all your hard work and effort. I feel like many of you have really had your eyes on the prize and just really kept at something and now it's just you know it's flourishing for you but i'm still going to pull my card on the bottom of the deck that was a bonus message and there goes the devil now we see why the devil is being deceitful because maybe this devil wants a piece of the pie this devil sees that you have all of this coming in you know and remember i was saying sheep you know wolf in sheep's clothing and that's what this person is they're trying to manipulate something this is the number 25 and that's seven and seven always tells me like the seven deadly sins this is also the number seven so this person um i'm sorry this person is um going to deceive you perhaps like i'm hearing love bomb you know what I'm saying? Like someone may try to love bomb you or someone may try to convince you that they love you or convince you that they want to be with you. But it's only because they see that you're stable. They see that you're doing well by yourself. They see the blessings are pouring in for you. So this deceitful person is definitely plotting, scheming and scamming. You know, this is someone that has it out for you because they see that you now have this self-love. You you're, you know, you, you prioritize yourself and you could have moved away from this person. Because when I see that 61, that 7, that's like you're, you're having a victory. We just saw the triumph card, the victory card rather. So you're definitely coming into um, a, a very powerful time. That's another reason why your um, guardians are protecting you as well. Um, and we have... Uh, Jivion, and this is called like I want you so I feel like with that like I want you it's almost like this person is going to come in and pretend like they want you but they're being deceitful you know they're going to come in like they they're interested in repairing a situation with you because they do see your worth and value you can't not help but see this regal queen's you know value and your cat cats are very impervious to threat and it's looking right in the direction of you know this um devil and so you know that's about your intuition as well so i feel like you will definitely um be very mindful and i feel you're also because this is six as well so you're highly intuitive you're not going to play with anybody especially um you know if this is someone from your past you know so you are healing some sort of past um some sort of generational um, yoke, you know, so you're learned, you've learned, I feel from your um, past life, you know, uh, experiences, I was going to say mistake, but that's what spirit corrected me in the beginning of the reading, you there are no mistakes, they're only experiences, Ashe, so there's someone's coming in to act like they, they um, want you, and if you look at his name, it says give on, 
you know, even though his name is probably Gideon or whatever, but it says give on. So this is someone that just wants you to continue to just give them. You know, they just want you to continue to give, continue to, you know, to, to you know, um, to pour into them, but they don't reciprocate. And this is going to have you all tied up. So who or what you're attracting to you? On the bottom of the deck, we have this. That's what Spirit is telling you. Look, it's time for you to connect with, you know, a higher realm. Connect with your deities, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit team. Start praying. Start meditating. Start connecting with your higher self so that you could be led, so that you could be guided. Because someone could, you know, be affecting your health, causing stress and anxiety, you know. And it's this energy. This energy may you know, cause you to stress and it causes you to worry, causes you to um, be up in your head. And that's what the devil does. They're very manipulative. So they mind up you, you know, they will love bomb you. They will tell you whatever they need to tell you to get whatever they want. So they are only concerned with the outcome. They don't care about how they hurt you, but you're strong. You're not dealing with a fool. You're, you've got the strength um, to overcome that situation. And remember I was saying uh, that this 71 is definitely um, the number 8 card in traditional tarot. That's the strength card. And there goes the strength card here. The angel of strength is definitely going to allow you to tap into that energy so that you don't get caught up in, you know, the illusion, in the technology, or even in feeling um, obligated to, you know, entertain someone. Um, don't get fooled, you know, don't get duped. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is the 71 health and nematoma sacred space here for um, who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. And you have the angel of love. See that? See how she's holding her heart away from this devil? Because you trusted your intuition. You've learned from past mistakes. And remember, I was associating this eight um, also with the eight of swords, like someone, you know, being stuck, um, ruminating or pining or confused. I was saying the eight of swords, that's what someone's trying to do. And that's why spirit is saying, connect with your angels and guides for direction, you know, so that they could give you that direction so that they could give you that divine guidance. And you received it because this is also the number eight and you build your strength and you realize that self-love is the best love. So this woman holding a heart, she's not holding it and giving it to this devil. She She's learned from her past. You know, she realized that connection is definitely not healthy. So she's very aware. So she's moving in a different direction. And this eight is also given like the eight of cups. So it's like moving away from people, places and things that don't honor you. You're no longer going to, you know, just give 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 and without receiving so whomever isn't making deposits into your life only withdrawals you're removing yourself from that and you're moving away positively because as i said earlier you realize and learn that self-love is the best love so we have the angel or the magician and the mirror uh, magic I'm, I'm sorry yeah magician and the mirror here so this is how this person feels about you as i said that you are an initiate that you are very magical um and we have the greatest <laughs> again um, from the, oh, good Lord Jesus, from the greatest, um, I mean, from the reasonable doubt, um, soundtrack. So they, they definitely feel like you are very great at manifesting. Um, you could be very, very, um, very much tapped into your, um, divine power, you know, your ability to, you know, co-create with source or tap into that alchemical force uh, where you're manifesting something new. But you know how to manifest from water, fire, earth, air, and ether. So you can either speak things into this um, reality. You can either, you know, do some sort of spell work to manifest and you have quick turnaround time. But this is like they see you as someone that is really great. They see you as someone that definitely um, has that ability to um you know, call in and draw in whatever it is you desire. Uh, we have, I see someone's name is Alice Smith. So someone could be dealing with someone named Alice um, or Smith, the last name. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is 33 um, communication and Damara guiding children here? And remember that 33, that's six, that's your first eye. So if you do receive communication from someone, use your intuition to see. And look what flew right back out. So this is definitely like spirit reminding you to use your intuition, 
you also have the angel of balance so you are very busy at you know restoring the balance whether that be in the home the hearth uh, within your children um, but this is also your ability to uh, co-create with source so these two cards coming together because the star card that I had referenced earlier um, is what I'm gathering from this as well the 53 the star it's like you are um, very much harmonized so it's like you've learned to kind of establish those boundaries but you've also purged from things that no longer serve you and you've turned your pain into power so you are no longer um, you know just just receptive to any type of love it's like now that you know your worth and value you're open to the best so you want something that's going to um bring that balance so this is about yin and yang this is being in harmony with the self uh this 84 breaks down to 12 so this is why you're seen as you know a divine feminine or a divine masculine, uh, someone who's very harmonized, someone who's very centered, very grounded, very loving, nurturing, caring, and kind. Um, and that's why the door to spirit is opening up. So you could be receiving a lot of divine downloads. We have uh, Tiana uh, Major, and this is called Exclusively. So some of you, uh, for what's what we have hidden um, someone may want to you know be exclusive this could also be speaking to um, you know you just really having someone that is uh, making an effort to show their exclusivity like they are um, very devoted to you that they are very invested in the connection um, and I feel like this door to spirit is just, again, you coming into a spiritual union or divine union. This is also just, you know, again, saying that um, the wheel is turning. There's the door is opening. Uh, you know, the opportunities are opening up for you because we did see the door to personal healing and happiness. So spirit is opening up this this uh, new chapter for you where, you know, your your transformation has assured some sort of uh positive you know new beginning for you positive outcome that is just going to bring so much joy and peace and happiness um you can see this feminine is kind of looking in the mirror and there's just a new version of herself looking back at her so many of you could have been speaking like um you know certain affirmations to yourselves in the am um like i am beautiful i am lovable you know i am enough I am loved, you know, I am powerful. You could have been speaking those positive affirmations to yourself in the mirror every day. And that could have, you know, really broken some sort of chain um, because that's what the star card is. It's about balancing things out in your life, you know, and even though things may get out of hand, it's like you remained hopeful and optimistic about how the turner the turnout will be how the outcome will be rather and um, that's why you're going to have some sort of uh, victorious outcome because I feel like you've really been doing the work you've been speaking those positive affirmations daily mantras you've been writing in your journal so you're already seen as a, a, a very powerful um, and magical um, alchemist um, you tapped into your alchemical forces I said and you used uh, your intuition or your visualizations your eye imagination and you've manifested some fresh start you've transformed and now there's new cycles coming in and you're coming into a spiritual partnership so why is the one new beginning maive cycles and rhythms butterfly maiden transformation here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpio let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit thank you so this card is sticking out it's another bonus i'm gonna take bottom of the deck we have door to spirit still, so that's powerful. So this door is going to be open for you, uh, and it's going to just usher in the change. I feel like there's definitely com confirmation that there's a rebirth because you can see that dove there, which spe which speaks to you know like a rebirth. I feel like your angels and your guides have a lot to do. Um, with this new beginning as well like they're supporting you with this and we did see that with nematoma you also have archangel metatron with the sixth chakra there and remember i was telling you to trust your intuition and use discernment that's your, that's your first eye some of you could be praying to archangel metatron so the cards that pulled out uh, flew out was you have adjacent possibilities which means you have choices so i do feel like you're going to have to make a decision and i was picking up on that earlier uh, with the need to make a decision about something because perhaps someone is trying to dupe you or someone's trying to deceive you so you're gonna have to use your intuition 
and that's could be you know impertinence to money could be impertinence to um you know the household home the hearth whatever the case may be but you have the strength to overcome the situation so whatever communication that comes in because this is the number five that deals with the throat that could also be speaking to a project um a, you know that you're working on pay attention to your intuition there's a lion here so lions are the kings of the jungle they are you know um they have control of their subconscious mind their subconscious thought they're also felines remember we saw the angel i mean the uh cat on this card and I was saying that cats are very impervious to threat so whatever potential uh, challenges that could occur spirit is saying you have the strength to overcome that you know because you have changed you've transformed and I do feel like you're taking action in the right direction so this is a very powerful confirmation and there goes the sun so that was the bonus message that I wanted to take um, you know so the sun yeah you're gonna have clarity so you're gonna see through the you know the illusions I feel like this is also just assuring you that things are looking better things are gonna be all right like we saw with Janet Jackson um, and uh, heavy D I also feel like you're going to be very elated in this new cycle. Like a lot of new things are taking place. You're going to feel renewed. You're going to feel rejuvenated. But more importantly, you're going to be very happy. We saw that door to personal healing and happiness. And you have the card here. And this is also a number one. So this is the new beginning is bringing in happiness. It's bringing joy. It's bringing just a lighter energy overall. Um, but it's also, you know, assuring you that um, you have your power back, you know, your solar plexus, trust your gut. Remember, that is like, you know, that acts as your second brain. So always tr use your your um, gumption when making decisions and trust your instincts, your intuition. Always go with that first instinct. Whatever you're, you're, you're moved to do, do that, you know. Um, so Divine Spirit, why 77? Spirituality, Artemis, guardian here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. You get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have um, JID, um, JID, Tiny Desk. This was a dope Tiny Desk um, classic performance. And so we have contract. So be mindful, you know, that came up also. Be mindful of any contracts, signing any contracts. Um, definitely, you know, if you need to seek legal advice or get a second and third and fourth opinion before doing something, um, before signing, you know, your name on the dotted line, definitely do that. Uh, but I also feel like, you know, there's things that are going to be handled fairly and justly for you, uh, especially if there's messages coming through like communication, you know, so just be mindful. I also feel you're just, you know, justice is on your side, you know. I feel like justice is on your side. The cards that flew out, we have this all tied up. So that's 77. So that's why your guardian is here. Because some of you may feel stuck or you may feel um, confound. You may feel bound. You may feel stagnancy, confusion. Um, but your angel is here protecting you. Because I don't feel like this is has anything to do with you. And there goes the siren again. So the siren, like I said, whenever I hear that, that's a, 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 a cause of alarm. And I feel like someone could literally be doing something to keep you stuck and stagnant or bound. Uh, and your angels are coming up. They said that, you know, you and your loved ones are, uh, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And remember, so you could be having someone doing like spiritual attacks, like someone could be doing like there could be some evil eye. There could be someone doing juju voodoo, hoodoo, santaria. Someone could be doing something um, to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant. Trust your intuition um, as well. With J-I-D, um, someone's initials could start with J-I or D. I also heard Jesus. So some of y'all could be praying to Jesus or some of y'all are being told to pray to Jesus. If that's, you know, who you pray to. Um but like I said, someone's name could start with a J, I, I, or a D, first, middle, or a last, whether it's your name or someone you're dealing with or someone you could be attracting to you. But we also have Carnocopia. So this is the fifth card now that came out to confirm that you are coming into some sort of financial freedom. You're going to feel liberated financially. You're going to feel accomplished. This is another reason why the devil could be here as well, to deceive you, to take from you, to take what you've been um what you've been able to 
um, earn. You know, this is like trying to steal what you've earned. But you have something beautiful. There's a beautiful outcome here. And this is always... Um, you know, to have the sun in Carnocopia, this is confirming that this is a blessing from spirit, as is this. Um, these two cards. And I should add a fourth because the sun, you know, is also here. So this is your messages, you know, of, you know, like confirmation of, you know, just the blessings that your angels are going to be showering and rewarding you with so if you are you know worried about things financially i don't feel especially with carnucopia like this is an absolute blessing from the angels you can see this harvest i was hearing harvest so all the seeds you've sowed you can see they've all blossomed this is like a harvest here so that's a very beautiful and powerful energy um so let's tap in and see what we got from the dark grimoire because the you know, the devil showed up several times to the point where he done came out in the reading. So what we have on the bottom of the desk. That, so we have high priestess. And I was telling you to trust your intuition. I also feel like this could be, you know, your energy with the um, high priestess. The high priestess, um, or the high priest regardless, uh, they have ancient knowledge and wisdom. So this is also, you know, could be telling you of what's hidden. Uh, there's a decision that you may need to make. Um, and it's because you could have someone that's very deceitful um, around you. So spirit is always encouraging you to trust your intuition and to choose wisely when it comes to this particular person. This could be a particular person. On the split, we have the eight of wands. So this person um, could be rushing in or this could be someone that you could have moved away from that could be coming toward you. Um, we have, um, who is this? Oh my goodness, what is going on? Oh, that's Mary. Okay. So we have Mary J. Blige, Breathing. This is her new song. So someone's name could be Mary J. or Blige. Someone could be, um, and that's first, middle, or last. Someone could be from Yonkers, uh, but Breathing. So I, I'm just getting a sense of someone breathing down your back. Or, you know, like when, when you say that, when someone's breathing down your back, it's like someone just won't let up. Like they're constantly in your ear or constantly like, you know, um, kind of harboring, like just like they have an expectation, you know, this is someone being deceitful though. You know, maybe someone is just, you know, kind of being a little too, um, overbearing, you know, uh, is what I'm gathering as well. But spirit wants you to trust your intuition with that eight, you know, this is coming in quickly. Someone could be coming in. I'm hearing hot and heavy as well. So and I'm also hearing like, if someone does come around, you get you find yourself getting a little frustrated or flustered. Um, do some breathing techniques to calm yourself down. Maybe some of you have anxiety. I was picking up like this person um, brings a lot of anxiety. Like you, you feel extreme anxiety around this person. And a way to alleviate that anxiety and get rid of those big emotions is just by doing like deep inhales and exhales. You know, that gets the blood flowing right. That puts, you know, the, the um, oxygen to the brain. You know, like that just helps uh, with centering and grounding your energy. And there goes the king of pentacles and the fool. So you are coming into a very sacred union, spiritual union bond and connection with someone. Because this person is matching your fly. This is the king of pentacles. And I always liken this card to the queen of pentacles. So you both are very self-sufficient, very stable, very... Um, devoted people you know you, you're very committed very uh, successful in whatever it is you're doing and it's like you know you just want to share that with another person um this could be someone that is pertain you know tr trying to convince you they want to take another shot but this is that same energy i'm just picking up like this is the deceitful person because they could see that you could potentially be coming in to another union and so maybe they're going to be like i said overbearing trying to convince you that they want another chance they could be trying to come in and love bomb you and maybe in the past you were very foolish to take this person back if you look they're wearing like a stray jacket and this is what they would you know force um individuals with mental illness or um mental challenges and they'll put them in the um 
in those straight jackets to prevent them from harming themselves or others. So this person could have mental illness. Uh, that could be, you know, something that this person may be dealing with. With fool. And there was a lot of, they got a lot of demons also. If you look around, like, this person got a lot of demons. I think that they are very much, to, um, they, they, they have some shadow work to do. This is not a good spirited person. Um, they may try to come off. They could be very passionate. Um, like just, you know, in terms of sexually passionate and, you know, very lustful. But that does not mean, um, that's not love, you know. So whoever this is, I see an eye here. They could be watching you. I definitely feel like someone watches you. And that's how they're trying to secretly plot something. Because if you look, he has something in his hands that he is manipulating. This person has a lot of anger. You know, I see a lot of red here. And red is a, is that, you know, associated with that planet Mars. So this could be a fire sign, you know, as well. By the spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is the 61 self-love, past life, ISIS... Abundantia, Prosperity, 42, Woman Holding a Coin, and the Deceit card here for the overall energy. And look what flew back out, the Fool. So someone wants to convince you that they want to um, have another chance. They want a fresh start. They want to start all over. They want a new beginning. And I feel like Spirit is telling you um, to prioritize yourself this time around. You know, because the, at the end of the day, it's like literally, you know, Whatever foolish games they were playing in the past, um, it did lead to a lot of pain um, and trauma, you know, and the devil is not loyal to anyone but their own selfish needs. So there is no reason to entertain that uh, because they may try to play you for boo-boo the fool. Um, I feel like you can see this person. You see right through this person also. That's another reason why you are not like handing the heart to them but holding it away. You can see there's a butterfly on her first eye. So, you know, you've definitely transformed. Um, that just speaks to the transformation and an enormous change that you've made in terms of how you perceive them or how you perceive love or, you know, how you even perceive yourself because you've taken that necessary time, that sacrificial time um, to, you know, kind of self-examine and really work on the self. So let's clarify these messages, Divine Spirit. Why is 71 Health, Nematona, Sacred Space, and 44 Woman Holding a Heart? Here for what is um, what the uh, Scorpios who or what they're attracting to them. My 71 health. Thank you, Spirit. Finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of Pentacles. Remember, I mentioned that because we saw that 10 in the beginning of the reading. And I was picking up all the 10s, but I was also getting a sense of like, you know, the home, the hearth, family, financial fulfillment. This is generational wealth also, but the card that actually flew out is the lovers. And I mentioned the lovers as well. So whoever this is, you're you're not giving your heart to anyone that is in this energy because you have self-love. You know, when you have self-love, you know, you don't just give your heart to anyone. You don't just waste your time with any old offer. You know your worth and value. So what you're attracting to you, like I said, is someone that's made in your likeness. You're attracting someone that you know that you could trust. This is a very strong bond and connection. I feel like your angels are definitely bringing this person into your life because this is someone that you could have potentially manifested or called in or drew in, you know, just from you doing the work. What's on the bottom of the deck, like I said, Ten of Pentacles. So you're seen as someone who's very nurturing. Uh, someone could see themselves having like happy house, happy spouse type of vibes, which you happily ever after. This is about, you know, building you know, um, with another individual, you know, you each are contributing to the relationship, a collaborative effort, a partnership, a friendship, uh, someone that's supportive, someone that is your rock, someone that you can trust and lean on. Some of it is the first person that you think of when you, when you wake up or fall to rest. Like this is that person you have synergy and chemistry with as well. Why is 33 communication, Damara healing children, 53, um, magician and the mirror 48 angel of balance here so I do feel like you could have manifested all of that you are coming into right now just you know also from your actions from the work that you've done but also from you just calling it in speaking it into you know fruition as well 
So the bottom of the deck, we have the star card, and I mentioned the star. So this is you. You've manifested it, no doubt about it. Remember what I said? You set the intention. You put it out in the ethers because that eight, I was saying, was reminding me of like the star. So you tapped into your alchemical force. You used your imagination and you manifested whatever it was that you desired. And some of you may have someone propose because we have the vow here playing by LL Cool J. And, you know, you could be speaking your vows to another person if you're having some sort of marriage, um, you know, partnership. Uh, what do you call it? Like a, a marriage ceremony. You know how you both write your, your vows in, and you speak them to each other during the ceremony. But I definitely feel like this is someone that you have manifested into your life because of that magician in the mirror. This is someone that's going to be like a devoted husband and wife, very loving, very caring, very tender. Um, this is a Cancerian energy, um, masculine that could be coming in for a feminine, or this could just be some of you all that could have that placement. Maybe this is just, you know, um, you in your, you know, in your regalness, in your royalness, um, calling in and drawing in what you desire. But I'm definitely getting a sense of someone that is going to propose or someone that definitely has some sort of um, deeper feelings that is, you know, they're, they're contemplating. You can see he's looking at this chalice. He's deep in thought. This is like that energy, that angel of balance. And as I was going into the diatribe earlier about, you know, if you desire to be in a relationship, then it's time to put the, you know, take the walls down so that the love can come in. You have to be open and receptive to receive it. So many of you could be kind of shunning it and acting as if you're not interested. And nobody on the planet should be alone. That's we're not here to be alone. We need one another, um, you know, to to not only produce life, um, but also to to feed um, each other, to cultivate, you know, strengthen and nurture a healthy relationship, a healthy civilization, society. So this is really, you know, showing me that this is something that you're coming into. Um, and I feel like you, whoever this is, they're going to not only accept you and love you um, unconditionally, but I also feel they will love and accept your children if you already, if you're like blending families or if this is not the mother or father to your child. Uh, this could be someone that will just really accept your children as their own. This is something you prayed for, something you meditated on, something you called in, something you were very hopeful about because you've had to heal um, from past pains, wounds, and traumas. And it only strengthened you. It made you a stronger individual. And that's why that strength card uh, flew out to just, you know, show the, the power that you actually possess, um, the leader that you actually are. So this is a beautiful energy. And the, and the um, song that we have playing right now is the, um, this is De La Soul. And, um, and it's called, come on. It's called um, Peas Porridge. And so this song is dope because it's like they, um, you know, they kind of repeat certain words. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, for some of you, you had to repeat a cycle. And that's why you feel liberated now because you're trying to, you're kind of freeing yourself. That song Liberation is still like in my mind's eye because that's the card we were, uh, that's the song that was playing where we were clarifying that card. Um, but the star, I do feel like with De La Soul, um, you're now coming into, uh, you know, very powerful connections now. And um, fresh starts, you know, is always beautiful. You're going to be so elated. You're going to feel so liberated, so free. So divine spirit of peace, calm, protection. And we have the seven of wands. So this is also like, you know, very a protective energy, like, you know, kind of blocking people think in people out that do not honor or value you or don't serve your highest good. Uh, but the ace of pentacles flew out for what's hidden. Remember, we also had the sun and I was saying that, you know, you had something beautiful coming in that's going to feel like a wish fulfillment or some sort of blessing. Um, it's a reward from spirit. And this is also, you know, uh, in this is clarifying that new beginning as well. So this Ace of Pentacles could be like a job offer. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Carnocopia, the Sun card, Abundantia, the Queen of Pentacles. Like, does it get any better than that? Like this, these are some really powerful cards in terms of finances. So for many of you, if you were, um, 
concerned about money, if you're worrying about a job offer or if a job offer is going to come through or if you're going to get a promotion or some sort of bonus or a pay increase, uh, everything in this reading is pointing to absolutely yes. Um, so let's tap in. So with peas porridge, um, you know, peas could also be another sign of like, you know, like the seeds that you've sowed because it's a fruit. I mean, it's a vegetable. So it's like it's blossoming, you know, things are blossoming. Um, and look what we have here. So you have the four of wands, stability. The four of wands, I also mentioned like, you know, you coming into a divine connection with it, like a twin flame or a spiritual union. And for the four of wands to clarify the 77 spirituality, the guardian card. And remember, I was saying this was like a divinely ordained connection along with carnucopia. You are going to not only be financially stable, financially fulfilled, but you're also going to be emotionally fulfilled and fin emotionally stable. You're going to be in a very sacred connection and bond with someone. Um, and this is someone that's going to be a soulmate because that de la soul, soul is sticking out. And I was saying that you had... Um, you know, some sort of spiritual union, a soulmate that could be coming in. Uh, and your angels are obviously um, aligning you with this person. It's obvious that they are protecting this union uh, and bringing you two together because I feel like there could be some uh, work that you all are expected to do. So this is absolutely a beautiful union. We have the Nine of pe um, Pentacles. What is that? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Wish fulfillment, blessings. This is really just confirming that you're going to feel very elated. And then in this cycle, you're really prioritizing you. You're putting you first because the Nine of Cups is all about me, myself, and I. I call that my De La Soul um, card, me, myself, and I. And it's in, it's very beautiful that De La Soul is playing. If you ever heard any form of reading, I always call the me, myself, the De La Soul card. And so the Nine of Cups is here as De La Soul is playing. So this is you, you know, really loving yourselves, putting you first, prioritizing you. Many of you are blissed. Many of you are chosen. And that's why you had to grow through that experience and heal from whatever past pains, wounds, and traumas you experienced from a former lifetime. And that's made you stronger. But this is a beautiful message. Many of you are chosen. As we can see, one, four, 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 four. Your angels, your guides are definitely aligning you with the right people and also protecting you because you have a purpose. You have a reason. You have a duty. And um, they're going to protect you from, you know, especially energies like this, energies that are very like, you know, fickle and, and finicky and, and, and just unpredictable. Uh, and I feel like you are also very in tune and intuitive and you're not falling for the okie doke no more. But this is a beautiful reading, a lot of uh, abundance coming in, a lot of financial blessings, prosperity. Uh, Carnucopia is the best card um, in that deck, along with the sun being the best card in the tarot deck. Um, you're stronger now, you're wiser now. And this is just beautiful. But thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe yo. If you found that the video resonated with you, please, again, please be kind and like the video so that others can discover it because the likes are strongly correlated with the algorithms. And if you don't like the video, then other people cannot discover. And a lot of you will not know I uploaded because they're not even going to push the video um, into the algorithms or notify you. So uh, just please, you know, show love. Love, um, and uh, reciprocate the gesture. Just pay it forward with a like. It's simple. It's a simple like. It's it's a like and it's a subscribe. But thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe, yo. Peace, power, and protection, y'all.